Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you here how to do this uh, electric arc effect. So the goal was to uh, have a source position and a target position that um, can be replaced with particles or anything later on, but now they are just helpers. And to shoot a um, shape which is kind of an electric arc formed with particles from the source position to the target position and originate exactly in the source position and end up exactly in the target position. And first I'm going to show you um, the whole concept, um, how it works, and then I'm going to just break it up and show you the individual pieces, and I hope you can use these individual pieces for anything else also. So I'm going to open up my paint, and you'll have to excuse my you know, horrible mouse drawing skills but the idea is the following uh, let me find a suitable tool okay so um, I have you know the source point at the, and the target point so the first thing would be to draw a line of particles between them like a, uh, with a you know like specified density then uh, the, the next step is going to be to uh, to offset these particles um, left and right on a vector which is perpendicular to these um, to this line and uh, I can offset them so if I offset them like this you know each one of them is gonna be offset by a certain amount along this perpendicular vector and I am gonna take this certain amount from a texture actually and then uh, I'll basically have the, the effect so let's first uh, look at the drawing of the particles from the source to the target. And I have the whole effect here, which is in this dynamic set. And I promise you it's not complicated at all. I've tried to make it as simple as it can work. So this thing at the end gives particles position, which is the only thing I give them. So I'm just going to wire the line part for now. So let's see. Yeah, I just need to offset it. The offset should be here. Okay, so this branch um, from here up to here is the line. And if I move this helper and decrease the density, you'll see that I create uh, with a specified density that doesn't change here, I create a line. So this is actually quite easy to um, make. Um, that's my uh, target and source nodes, and that I have the position self, and I use a distance condition, and it gives you basically two vectors. It gives you the direction, which is a unit vector uh, of the, which uh, points from the from one from the position one to position two, or the other way around. I never could, you know, remember. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, you get also the distance, which is a scalar, which gives you the amount, like the distance between them. So wha what you what you can do is that if you multiply this uh, direction unit vector with the distance, then you will you're gonna get exactly the vector between the the source and the target. You know, with its direction and its uh, magnitude. So then what I do is that I first uh, have my position born that creates the particles. And to define the density, I just take the distance and multiply it by something. And that multiplier is the density. And I feed this thing into my shot number. So what this is going to uh, produce is that the longer the distance um, is, the, the, the more particles there are going to be. And since um, I have and yeah and i can multiply this so i can increase that number of particles so the next task is going to be to space them um you know along this line and to do this i uh, first 
uh, use this thing, uh, which is divide the, the particle frame counter output by the shot number. And this is a very cheap iterator. Um, you can uh, you can actually uh, use an uh, iterator node to do this task, but I think this is like cheaper in this case. That I can, whenever I can use it, I use it basically. And then I what this thing gives me is uh, let me write it to the debug log and turn on debug mode. So you're gonna see that what this gives me is a sequence from zero to one, which lists all my particles. So I uh, see that the final particle gets cool, something close to one. And and I can multiply this thing with the distance and what I'm gonna get is instead of um, uh, values in the 0 to 1 range in the 0 to the actual distance range and that's gonna be that's gonna be um, the magnitude for all the position vectors for these particles so it's gonna be one of them is gonna be here and then the other one of them is gonna be here and here and so on so once I have this magnitude, then I do a vector by scalar. So I take this magnitude and I multiply this direction vector with this scalar. So I get for for each particle um, the right uh, vector, the, the right direction, which is what the, this direction vector gives me. And uh, this is fine. Um, that gives me the thing basically and the only thing which is left is just to uh, place them at the right position so if I connect this guy here uh, there's something that you saw before also uh, I'm gonna have the exactly result that I want but it's gonna be in the you know in zero and you know um, just doing the vector addition is offsetting something basically it's offsetting a vector at another vector at another position so i do a vector addition and of, of this whole thing you know my placed particles and i place them at the source source node position so i get this kind of result and you know for all these vector stuff uh if anything of this sounds you know too complicated or anything i'm gonna go into much more uh, depth and detail of this stuff in my tp dvds you know the useful uh, math things that you can do that make your effects life you know better but for now i just want to show how this setup works so this so far is the line and then the next thing that i need to do is the lookup in the text in the, the not you know the noise lookup in the texture so the way I do this is that I take my shot cycler, which gives me uh, the 0 to 1 values, and I have just a noise here, uh, green and red, I'm going to tell you about these, why is green and red uh, a bit later. But what I do is that I just have, um, have uh, used the shot cycler uh, with its values from 0 to 1, and I just run a sweep here along the x of the of the noise and i just get the value you know in this case of the green channel so i'm gonna say like if um you know if, if the particle is like halfway through it's gonna be this guy and its green value is gonna be you know like 0.5 and this guy's value is gonna be 0.7 or something like that so i take the value of this thing and the useful thing about this is that i can use uh, you know everything that I, you can do to a texture so i can make it like more contrasty i can um uh, regulate the size here so I can get very different you know looks I can also animate the face so I can get different uh, look or I can get the thing you know shifting with time which is also nice